Horses are on the track and pretty to the post. This evening's first race, the first elimination of the Buckeye State Pace. Two-year-old Colts and Goldings. Racing one mile, a purse of $20,000. A field of 10, there are no changes. The one is Tilly Sam over Francis and Milton Schloss of Cincinnati. Dave Rankin drives. Number two, Noble Ho over the Redland Stable. Eli Turner and Tom York Jr. of Ohio. Dan Eater driving. Three is Noble Sam. Over Vincent Rakestraw, Vincent Miller, and Greg Rodowski of Ohio. Brad Hander's up. Number four, come on, big guy. Owned by Jerry Summers, Suzanne Norfloss, and John Catron with Jim Daly. Five is our general. Owned by Philip Bongiovanni of Medina with Jerry Bookmeyer. Number six, Mallard. Owned by Scott Pamela of New Jersey with Del Miller. Seven is Slam and Sammy. Owned by Jack Franklin and Mike DeWall of Xenia with Jack Franklin. Number eight, Scoot and Newton, owned by Lloyd Voiles and Todd Christie for Brent Holland. Number nine, No Free Lunch, owned by Charles Miller of Napoleon, D. Miller in the bike. And the ten, Gene Zanhow, owned by Ellicott, Shaker Motors of Beechwood, Dave Myers in the sulky. Win play show, perfected trifecta, and a daily double wagering. Looking to the second race, on a gap moving in. They're on the back stretch, and there they go. And they're off. It's Noble Ho from the inside for the late from the outside hour. General Tilly Sam fires off the pylons from the outside of fourth. It's Noble Sam. Slipping through nicely five. Gene Zanhow to the inside of sixth. Come on, big guy. Early seventh as they move into the first turn. Scoot and Newton saving ground eighth. Mallard the outside. Part ninth. No free lunch. The trailer is slamming Sammy. At the first quarter mile marker, Ader on the front with Noble Ho. Opening penalty, brisk 27 and 4. And Noble Ho has taken the lead. Noble Sam to the outside looks to take that lead away. Our general settles in third. Tilly Sam back fourth. Inside five, the Jeans and Howe. On the rail, sixth. Come on, big guy. The outside, flashing cover, seventh. Scoot and Newton saving ground eighth. It's no free lunch as they move towards the half with Noble Sam, the leader here by a length and a half, too. Here comes Jeans Anyhow. Now, quit moving quickly on the outside. They're at the half. 58 and 2, and Gene Zanhow on the outside takes a lead. Only a neck now. Inside, Noble Sam won't give up the lead. To the outside, come on, big guy, takes the cover third. Inside of fourth, Noble Ho. Along the rail five, it's our general. Outside and racing a sixth, Scoot and Newton. Along the rail, pacing a seventh, it's Tilly Sam. Out of the outside eighth, Mellard as they near the three quarters. On the front now with a lead, it's Gene Zanhow at the uh, three quarters, 127 and one. But on the outside, here comes Come On Big Guy, and Come On Big Guy, a 22 to one shot here, takes a lead, and Come On Big Guy sent to the front. Gene Zanhow battles back second. At the outside of three, it's Noble Ho with less than a 16th to go. Come on, big guy. This race in his pocket. Here comes our general moving quickly now to the outside. And our general showing some pace here. Tilly Sam coming on. But it's come on, big guy in front. In one, 57 and three. Trackside is the official winner, the first elimination of the Buckeye State, number four, come on, big guy. A son of Towner's big guy. This is first Ohio bread crop. From Tampa, Elmerhurst by Nia Tross. Oh, by Jerry Summers, Suzanne Northless, and John Kitchen of Ohio and Florida, Dave Abbott, the trainer Jim Daly in the Sonke. His second career win, equaling his lifetime record, 157-35. Slam and Sammy 10, Scoot and Newton 